Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at Stellar Lumen on the daily chart. Uh, wow, what an Elliott wave uh, we have here for Stellar Lumen. <clears throat> Bear with me one second here. You can clearly see Elliott wave in this pattern, this chart. Now, uh, what are we? What's going on currently? Well, you can see a little Elliott wave right now as well. But uh, the bigger picture here, to me, is this gigantic cup and handle that we are seeing. Back in late March, I warned. I said, "Be careful." On my TikTok channel, I said, "Be careful. We could be seeing." A cup and handle formation and I had guessed that this right shoulder was going to be sometime later in April uh, but it did form here now this is a uh, about a month a couple month uh, formation here off a pretty decent sell-off uh, via the MACD we will need to see what happens with this uh, I'm expecting or hoping for everyone's sake uh, that we see some sort of ascending triangle or wedge form here. Uh, we are going to need to consolidate for a little bit, in my opinion. Uh, we will need to uh, get closer to the cloud until we take the next step up, possibly. Uh, so be prepared for that. Uh, I, I am hopeful that this is the beginning leg for Elliott Wave Theory on a larger scale. Uh, hopefully that does happen. Uh, we are pretty uh, pretty far away from the 200. Uh, we're pretty uh, high up off the 50. Uh, we are sitting at an RSI of 74-ish, we'll just call it. So we're somewhat in the, um, the overbought uh, early beginning stages of that, uh, that market. Uh, MACD looks like it could uh, come back or pull back just a hair. Uh, nothing wrong with that. As you can see, each pullback it made, it went higher when we were trading Elliott Wave Theory. Now, as far as a common trend line for Stellar, uh, we do have this going on. And let's see if we can figure out what... Fibonacci channel we are trading in. So I'm going to measure off this. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with uh, the way this thing is kind of bouncing, finding support and resistance within these channels. So uh, we definitely can see that if we trade sideways and form that handle, uh, we will definitely have a nice launch to try for uh, at least the 100% mark again. I would like to see this at least try that. Let's go ahead and measure a little Fibonacci time zone off this. So you could see if this forms out an ascending triangle, uh, like I was speculating, something like this maybe uh, we may see some movement around may 4th a pivot point of some sort uh, it will be a lot easier for stellar to work its way into the channel uh, and see these higher prices from this point if that happens we may even see something like this happen um, I, I could definitely see a larger ascending triangle kind of form uh, because of the size that this uh, pattern is uh, prior. So uh, don't be surprised if you see a low of around four and a half cents again, but I think I'm hoping that we wouldn't trade any lower than at least five cents at this or 50 cents at this point. Sorry, I've been talking too much CKB lately. So there it is for Stellar Lumen. Uh, we are definitely 
seen a bullish uh, pattern play out. Uh, we checked uh, the bottom of this this uh, Fibonacci uh, channel very nicely. Uh, we are trading very nicely within it. Uh, I, I think I think we could be seeing some sort of wedge or ascending triangle form. Like I said, by early May, we will know more on this. I don't think we're going to see any crazy new highs. Uh, if we do, it would probably be sometime around April 22nd. We'd see this thing start launching, and maybe by May 4th, we'd see a new high or a new low or a pivot point. Uh, so there you have it, folks. That's my take on Stellar Lumen. Uh, it's still a little too early in the game for me to make any judgment calls, primarily because of this Elliott Wave theory that I'm seeing right here. Uh, this tells me that we are going to need to see some ABC or ABCD, uh, you know, patterns form afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little snippet on Stellar. Let me know in the comments if you have any other coins or cryptos that you want me to check out. If you enjoyed this kind of TA, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Since this TA is somewhat time sensitive, uh, you may even want to consider hitting the bell. So when I do a new crypto, you can check and see if this is relevant to any of your holdings, etc., etc. Uh, this is not financial advice whatsoever. This is just my honest TA and, and what I'm seeing during these current uh, live market prices and price action. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you later.